What's up, YouTube? This is Kakar and TCG back with another video, and I have a special treat for you guys today. I was able to craft Great Nature in full, and I only needed one Polaris on day one. I got the Polaris on day one. If you haven't seen my pack opening for set seven, I worked really hard on it, and I really enjoyed luck sacking into a lot of the pieces that I wanted from this set. So if you're interested in seeing how uh, lucky I was on that set, check out my video. I just posted it this last Friday. Uh, the date's escaping me, I believe, the, the third. Go check it out. But yes, I built Great Nature, and I found out that I actually really like the clan, and it's actually really strong, really consistent, and really aggressive. And I don't think people are giving this clan enough credit, so I told my teammates, my clan mates, for Vanguard Zero, guys, I'm going to top a tournament with Great Nature. And viewer, I got first place, in a 30-man bracket using Great Nature. Now, it wasn't the only deck I played. I also played OTT, Tsukiyomi, and I had to win every match with both of these decks. But I will be honest, without that aggressive and fast-paced and consistent, consistent just options that I had out of Great Nature, I probably wouldn't have made it to Grand. Great Nature is a really strong deck and people are sleeping on it. So I wanted to show you guys a proven and tested great nature list to show all these posers that the only thing out of this set that is viable is not aqua force it is aqua force and great nature let's get into my build so for my triggers i play nine draw and four heal the reason why i'm playing nine draw is because it is a combo deck and you don't just retire anything and everything on your board you retire specific pieces and this deck is crafted to target certain pieces to be retired and so you need to draw on those pieces those nine draws gonna help bridge that gap for you play nine draw you don't need stands polaris does so much work for you you don't need stands just play nine draw trust me as a starter i am playing blackboard parrot because it is essentially my fourth duck bill and what it does is when i can put in the soul and then target a card on the board and then when that card gets retired at the end of the turn because great nature retires stuff at the end of the turn I get to draw a card for it and so it's going to allow you to keep cards in your hand and keep refueling your hand and it combos really well with a lot of pieces in the stack so that's why i'm playing that starter i play three copies of duck bill because similar to the blackboard parrot drawing cards is really broken and drawing cards for retiring your board is also really good so that's why i'm playing three copies of that it's a 7k base and as a side note it does make a 21k column with Polaris without a trigger, so it's just really good for hitting numbers. I at least wanted to play three in this list. I am playing four PG because four PGs, just good. One of the Otter and one of the Grade 1 Self Damager because that's all the space I had for it, and I really do prefer to play four copies of Self Damagers in my Limit Break, import, limit break Important decks. And then to round off that Grade 1 count, I am playing four copies of Hamske, or as I like to call him, Ham Sasuke. He may be a 6K base, but he's got a whole lot of heart. When he gets uh, retired from the battlefield, he calls two more of his brothers to your hand, gets two free Hamskes for the retire. So he's one of your strongest pieces to combo with early game and just really allows you to get some crazy hand filling combos going. Typically, I like to combo my duck bills and my blackboard parrots with my Hamskes, and I easily draw get three cards off of a hamske two hamskes and just a one draw and on my good days sometimes i get two hamskes and i get to draw two cards so it's a really strong card the dog is too counterblast heavy in my opinion and it's just i don't think it's very good at all why would i get rid of a great one to put out my heel this doesn't feel good so that's why i don't play the dog that's why i play hamske in the grade twos, I play four copies of Compass Line because having the 11k base intercept is really strong against Aqua Force. And when it's not against Aqua Force, it's just a strong card overall. It sets up your retire plays so you can draw cards. And not only that, it's just really good for aggressive pushes. I'm playing two copies of the the Tiger. The Tiger is just good because it gives 4k to another rear guard. It's also really good for comboing with that Hamske. And overall, it's just a very strong card. It helps build big columns. I'm playing three copies of the Great Two Self Damager to round out my counts of Self Damagers to make four. And I feel like that's really consistent and allows you to actually play other cards in your deck. 
Uh, I don't like playing 6k and 8k base cards too often. I'm kind of an aggressive player. And then I'm rounding off my count in the grade twos with four copies of Melodica Cat, which is simply there to combo with that sweet, sweet Melodica Chicken, Bruh. but I'll get to that later. In the grade threes, I am playing four copies of Leopold. Leopold is one of your strongest grade threes on rear guard columns, because when you swing, it allows you to put 4K on something else. And so it combos really well with Chicken, combos really well with a couple of other cards in the deck. Uh, it combos with Hamske if you get your Hamske's late. It combos with Otter because Otter can't be retired. Just a really strong card. I'm playing one copy of the Kangaroo because the Kangaroo is just a good card. It helps you restand and gets that fifth attack in if you really need it. But one copy is more than enough. Polaris's single counter blast restand skill is leagues better. And also, why would you want to run a 10k base in bulk? I don't know. And then finally, we get to the, the main boss sponsor of the deck, Polaris, the bear himself. Polaris is just really strong because, like I said, you counter blast one, you restand a rear guard, and it gains plus 4k. Not only that, but it is just a generic 14k attacker when it swings at a vanguard. So it just has a big body, makes your other cards also have big bodies, and opens up for that fourth and potentially fifth attack depending on your board setup. So Polaris is just always a good card to have, and he really pushes this deck over the edge. And finally, my favorite card in the deck, Vocal Chicken, aka Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. This card is so cool. As a grade three, it's a 10k base, so it's not terrible. Can get over those annoying intercepts. And when you retire it, you counterblast one to summon Melodica Cat, which if you are paying attention, is a grade two. So retire a grade three with higher power than the grade two and then summon a grade two that's an intercept just really good trading going on here and i think he really helps circumvent all that retiring you're doing with polaris all the retiring you're doing with leopold and all the other skills and uh, yeah this is my list i really really enjoy this deck and i've been playing this day in and day out i feel very confident that if you pick up this list right now i'm pretty sure you will do well too and I actually, while this was a self-invoke challenge, I really did like it. So, if you want me to try to top a tournament with a deck this month that I have, please put in the comment section and I might actually accept your challenge. I had a lot of fun doing this. But uh, let's get to the games.
Denied. Skill hard. Skill hard. Rear guard to attack. Stand and draw. ライド喪失の闘神ホライスコールコールおいでリアガードにアタックヴァンガードにアタックダメージチェック Vanguard attack. First check. Second check. Damage check. Bruh.
ドチェックセカンドチェックゲットドロートリガーダメージチェックよヒールトリガー Perfect. Perfect.